Hi, I'm Josh Lindsay. Today I'm going to be teaching you about falsetto. First, I'm going to be discussing what falsetto is, how to use it in both classical and contemporary singing, and then I'm going to give you some exercises that you can use to develop your falsetto. In the male voice, a falsetto sound will sound like this. As opposed to a full voice sound, which will sound like this. So the vocal cords kind of look like this. Okay, so it, let's say this is your Adam's apple right here. Your vocal cords go all the way back like this. And these right here are would be your arytenoid muscles. So your vocal cords don't open and close like this. They're fixed like uh, in this position right here. But in the back of the vocal cords right here, the vocal cords actually can open and close. And when they're fully closed, that's when you get this full voice sound. This is what we call full adduction. So the vocal cords are fully adducted and the full length of the vocal cord is vibrating and resonating. In falsetto, the vocal cords are abducted, meaning they are spread apart like this and only part of the vocal cord is vibrating right down here. And so you don't get the full resonance and the full vibration of the vocal cord. So it'll sound like this. Adduction and abduction are not dichotomous. This is what I've learned from Jack Lavigny, who learned it from Salvatore Fisichella, a great voice teacher. So we have full falsetto like this, truly abducted, and then we have fully adducted vocal cords, which would be full voice, and then we would have somewhere in between. And this somewhere in between would be called voci di lontano, okay? The voice from far away. So this is what it would sound like if I sang true falsetto, which would be And this is fully adducted, full voice. And this would be voce di lontano. In classical singing and opera, basses and baritones use a true falsetto as a comical gesture. They're singing almost like in a female register, right? This is often happening when they're impersonating a female. Tenors often use voce di lontano in the upper register to have a sotto voce high note. In contemporary singing, voce di lontano is often used. For example, in John Legend's song, All of Me, he sings, Cause I give you all of me. Right, so he flips into falsetto, but the vocal cords are slightly adducted, not fully, or else it would be full voice, right? But it's not true falsetto either. Another example is the song Yellow by Coldplay, and it goes like this. Your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones turn into something beautiful. So it's not fully adducted, or else it would be your skin, right? That would be full voiced. And it's not true falsetto either. Your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones. That would be true falsetto. That's not right either. So we want something adducted, okay? Slightly adducted. Your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones. Turn to something beautiful, like that. In vocal training, falsetto exercises are used as a stepping stone to sing uh, full voiced high notes. So we start right here and if we go, that would be
would be full or that would be full falsetto, true falsetto, totally abducted vocal cords. Then if the next step would be to adduct them slightly, okay, not completely. So this would be like that. And then I would fully adduct the vocal cords like this for full voice. Going But most singers can't do that when they're first starting out because their arytenoid muscles aren't strong enough. But over time, as you practice these exercises, then your arytenoid muscles will get stronger and then you'll be able to sing into the upper register without your vo vocal cords breaking apart. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Now we're going to do some vocal exercises to train your falsetto. So I want you to first sing a true falsetto for me. And we're gonna start this on D4 right here. Okay, here we go. Then we'll go down. And most people stop at B flat right here. If you can go down below B flat, then that would be great. Let's try it. You'll notice that your voice wants to break into full voice because this is, we're overlapping. I could sing this in full voice. Like that, but we want to still do falsetto. Let's try two more. And one more. There you go. Now let's start at B flat right here. And we're going to do that same exercise. Then we're, we're going to go up. So most male singers stop right here on this F, okay? So this is F5 right here, and it's a little bit high, right? So, but if you can go higher than that, that would be amazing. But if you can't, don't get down on yourself. It's very typical to stop on F5 right here, okay? So let's go up from here. Let's try to go to F sharp. Let's do two more. See if you can get up there. So that right there, that would be um, C6 right there. That would be a soprano's high C. So that would be super high. I've only heard a few people um, that were able to sing a C5. Uh, you know, a fully grown man that would be able to sing C5, very rare, okay? Typical, uh, this this F, this F5 right here, okay? Yeah, C6 is maybe beyond most people. Um, now let's uh, go back down right here, and then we'll do um, five note scale on A, but this time we're gonna, um, we're gonna slightly adduct the vocal cords, 
bring them a little bit, a little bit closer together. And so this one will be Voci di Lontano, okay? So we'll do the same thing right here. Let's start here on B flat and then we'll go up. Okay, here we go. Oh. Yeah, so it, sometimes it's a little tricky to figure out the voce di, di lontano in the extreme upper register of your falsetto, okay? So you might have to work this a little bit to, to smooth out any registration breaks or anything like that. We want, we want to make it smooth. Our next exercise will be a little bit more advanced. So if you've been singing a while, give it a whirl, okay? It's not going to hurt. So... Right here, we're going to do five note on A, first voce di lontano, and then we're going to do full voice. So we're going to go like this. Okay, switching back and forth like that. Okay, let's try this right here. C5 right there, high C for tenor. Okay, so you can uh, practice alternating between this voce di lontano and your full voice. Okay, and that's kind of helpful to kind of um, transition uh, into the full voice singing uh, into your upper register. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions regarding singing, Please uh, comment below and I'll try to answer them in the comments or in the next video. Consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. All right, and we'll see you in the next video.